Good day, and welcome back to Awakened Faith Channel. Sharing from Father Michel. Brothers and sisters, I am a humble servant of God, a priest who has dedicated his life to following the voice of the Lord. I come before you today with a message that I believe is of great importance. God has spoken to me about the changes we are witnessing in the world, changes that are connected to what many call the New World Order. This is not an easy message to share, but it is a message of warning, guidance, and hope. One day, as I was in prayer, the Lord spoke to me in a voice that was both gentle and firm. He said, The world is changing, and it is changing quickly. There are forces at work, both seen and unseen, that are preparing the way for a new order. But this new order is not of me. It is a counterfeit of my divine plan. At first, I did not fully understand what the Lord was trying to tell me. I had heard of the term New World Order before, but I always thought it was just a political or economic concept. However, God made it clear to me that this New World Order is more than just about politics or money. It is a spiritual battle, a battle for the souls of humanity. As I continued to listen, God revealed to me that this new world order is being shaped by forces that are opposed to his kingdom. These forces are working behind the scenes, slowly influencing governments, economies, and societies. They are creating a world where people will be tempted to turn away from God and put their trust in worldly powers and leaders instead. The Lord said, The world will present this new order as something good, something that will bring peace and unity. But beware, for it is a false peace, and its unity is built on lies. It will deceive many, even some of my faithful, if they are not vigilant. I asked the Lord, What should I do? How can I warn your people about this? He answered, Speak the truth. Tell my people to stay close to me, for I am their refuge and strength. The time is coming when many will be shaken by the events of the world but those who stand firm in their faith will not be moved. God also told me about specific events that will happen as part of this new world order. He said, You will see nations rise and fall. You will see economic systems collapse and new ones take their place. There will be great confusion and chaos, but my people must not be afraid. He then showed me a vision. In this vision, I saw a massive structure being built like a tower that reached to the sky. It reminded me of the Tower of Babel from the Bible. People from all over the world were coming together to build this tower, each contributing their part. They believed they were building something that would last forever, something that would unite all people under one banner. But then, I saw the foundation of the tower begin to crack. It was built on sand, not on solid rock. Slowly, the crack spread, and the tower began to shake. The people building it didn't notice at first, but soon the entire structure came crashing down. It was destroyed in an instant, and the people were left in shock and confusion. The Lord said to me, This tower represents the new world order. It is built on lies and false promises. It will appear strong and mighty for a time, but it will not stand. I will allow it to fall, for it is not of me. I asked the Lord, when will this happen? But he did not give me a specific time. Instead, he said, do not focus on the time. Focus on being prepared. My people must be ready at all times, for the events will unfold according to my perfect plan. The Lord also warned me about the dangers of putting our trust in earthly systems and leaders. He said, Many will be tempted to follow this new world order because it will promise security and prosperity. But this security is temporary, and this prosperity is fleeting. It will not satisfy the deepest needs of the human heart. He continued, Tell my people to trust in me alone. The world may change, but I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. My kingdom is not of this world and my people must remember that their true home is with me. God also spoke to me about the role of technology in this new world order. He said, Technology will be used to control and manipulate people. It will be presented as something that makes life easier, but it will come with a price. Privacy will disappear, 
and people will be monitored in ways they never imagined. Do not let this frighten you, but be aware. My people must use technology wisely and not let it control their lives. In the midst of this warning, God gave me a message of hope. He said, even though the world is changing, I am still in control. Nothing happens without my permission. I am allowing these things to unfold so that my people will turn back to me. This new world order will ultimately fail and my kingdom will prevail. He also gave me a word of encouragement for the faithful. Those who trust in me will not be abandoned. I will provide for my people, even in the midst of trials and tribulations. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. The world may seem dark, but my light will shine brighter in the darkness. The Lord emphasized the importance of prayer during this time. He said, Prayer is your greatest weapon. Through prayer, you will find the strength to stand firm. Through prayer, you will hear my voice and know my will. Encourage my people to pray without ceasing, for it is through prayer that they will remain connected to me. God also called for unity among his people. In these times of uncertainty, my people must come together. Do not be divided by petty differences or disagreements. Stand united in faith, for together you are strong. The enemy seeks to divide and conquer, but my people must resist this and stand as one. Finally, the Lord spoke about the future. He said, The days ahead will be challenging, but they will also be a time of great opportunity. Many hearts will be open to the gospel as they see the emptiness of the world's promises. Be bold in sharing my love and my truth. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. I am calling my people to rise up and be my witnesses in these times. I want to urge you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, to take this message to heart. The world is changing and the new world order is part of these changes. But we must not fear. God is with us and he has a plan for his people. Stay close to him, trust in his word, and do not be swayed by the false promises of the world. Remember, our hope is not in this world, but in the kingdom of God. The new world order will come and go, but God's kingdom will last forever. Stay faithful, stay prayerful, and stay united in Christ. God is in control, and He will lead us through these times into His everlasting peace. May God bless you all and give you strength for the days ahead. Amen. Dear Lord, I come before you with a humble heart seeking your guidance and grace. Please cleanse me of my sins and fill me with your love. Strengthen my faith so I may walk in your light and follow your will. In times of trial, grant me patience and trust in your plan. Help me to love others as you have loved me and lead me to be a reflection of your peace and kindness. Thank you for your mercy and endless blessings. May I always glorify you in all that I do. Amen.